If I have two copper wires with the same diameter, but one is longer than the other, you can expect the longer wire to have a higher resistance. That's because an electron needs to make its way between more positive ions before it reaches the other end. So here, we've established that resistance is proportional to the length of wire. In a different situation, we have two copper wires with the same length, but this wire has a larger diameter so that it has a larger cross-sectional area. In this wire, the electron has more options to choose the path of least resistance. This shows that the larger the cross-sectional area a wire has, the lower the resistance there is, so resistance is inversely proportional to area. But what if we have two wires with the same dimensions, but this is copper and this is steel? Copper is a much better conductor of electricity compared to steel. We need a way to specify how much electrical resistance a certain material has. We call this measurement the resistivity. We give resistivity the symbol rho. Since resistivity is a constant for a particular material, and we know that resistance is proportional to length but inversely proportional to area, we can now write an expression for the resistance of a material. Resistance is equal to resistivity times the length divided by the area. Let's use dimensional analysis to work out the units for resistivity. I'll rewrite this first to get resistivity as the subject. The unit of resistance is ohms, Units of cross-sectional area is meters squared, and length is just meters. So the unit of resistivity is ohm meters. For example, copper's resistivity is 1.7 times 10 to the minus 8 ohm meters. But steel's resistivity is 6.9 times 10 to the minus 7 ohm meters. So if I compare a copper wire to a steel wire with the same dimensions, the steel wire will have a much higher resistance. Some of you might be wondering by now, what is the difference between resistance and resistivity? Resistance tells us how much an object opposes the flow of electrons. It is dependent on the object's size and the substance that it is made of. So we say that resistance is a geometric property. But resistivity is an intrinsic property of a particular substance. It does not change with the material's geometry. So if I double the length of this wire, the resistance also doubles. But if I double the cross-sectional area, the resistance is going to half. But in both of these cases, the resistivity remains unchanged. Thanks for watching till the end of this video. If you found it useful, be sure to subscribe.